In the past, in order to boost the chance for pregnancy, IVF programs would put multiple embryos into the uterus at the same time. This resulted in many pregnancy complications due to the large number of twins and triplets. Success rates from IVF have improved over the years. What are the risks and benefits of transferring one or more embryos today? Stay tuned. In 1995, if you were a good prognosis patient under the age of 35 doing an IVF cycle in the United States, the average number of embryos that were transferred at one time was four. By 1999, the average number of embryos transferred had dropped to three. By 2009, it was two. Today, it is just over one embryo at a time. What has happened to IVF pregnancy rates during that time? They have actually increased. With improvements in IVF technology, doctors discovered that they could transfer less embryos and get the same or a higher number of pregnancies. This had a dramatic benefit in reducing the number of multiple pregnancies. In 1995, over 30% of IVF pregnancies were twins. Now, it is less than 10%. In 1995, 5% of IVF pregnancies were triplets. That number is now less than 1%. But why are IVF doctors so interested in reducing multiple pregnancies? The reason is simple. Multiple pregnancies have more complications and a higher chance for bad outcomes. What kind of bad outcomes? Compared to a single baby, twins are six times more likely to be born preterm, five times more likely to end up in the neonatal intensive care unit, and four times more likely to have cerebral palsy. They are also more likely to be stillborn, die in the first month after birth, and have birth defects. At the same time, IVF doctors and patients would like to get a healthy live-born baby with as little work as possible. Here is a common question that IVF doctors get asked today. If you have two embryos to transfer, is it better to put both in at the same time? Or is it better to transfer one of them and then, if needed, transfer the second one later? We can answer this question using data from the U.S. IVF Registry. All IVF programs in the USA are required to report their IVF outcomes to this registry. For each attempt, we report many variables, including how many embryos were transferred, what stage the embryos were at, and whether a pregnancy or live birth occurred. Since most top IVF programs transfer embryos at the blastocyst stage, we will look at that data. In 2018, for those people who had transfer of two blastocysts, the chance for having at least one live-born baby was 60%. 27% of the pregnancies were twins. However, people who transferred one blastocyst, and then, if they didn't have a live birth, transferred another single blastocyst did better. In this case, 66% of the patients had the birth of at least one baby, but the chance for a twin pregnancy was only 1%. How is this possible? The math works because although you may get a few more people pregnant initially by transferring two embryos at the same time, more of those pregnancies are lost due to complications such as miscarriage or preterm delivery so that you actually have less live births. Our Infertility TV bottom line is this. In 2022, your best odds for having a healthy live-born baby is to transfer one blastocyst at a time. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.